All right, so this is Prince, and today what I'm going to do is uh, show you a dog working solely in prey drive, and then show you the difference between switching the dog uh, in prey drive and then switching them in the pack drive. He was initially trained uh, with all food based rewards, and um, <clears throat> and again, what you're doing at that point, if that's his sole uh, reinforcement, you're basically keeping that dog in prey drive because there's always food in the picture. And so you create a lot of excitement. And the other thing is, is that the dog typically sees you as a source of food. And that association when you go to work with the dog is he's already loading in the prey drive because that's his association with that handler. So what we're gonna do is I have food here in my, my jacket and I haven't used any with them, but I'm gonna work them on some stuff that he already knows and uh, just reward him for everything, right? So you can see, <clears throat> I can't even get my hands on them at this point. Because I, I've increased his, his prey drive, I've increased his excitement level, everything. So what I have is a dog that's working in prey drive. There's no pack drive here, in my opinion, All right? So, sit. what I'm gonna do is take him out of this session out into the field and show you how we're gonna switch the drives and see the difference in them. Let's go. I'm just gonna uh, switch the drives on him here on the long line and uh, kind of see the difference in his, uh, his behavior and his excitement level. But he's already, he's a high prey driven dog to begin with. So adding food to the equation to a dog that's already high prey driven, you can see what happens, right? So uh, it's not to say you can't use food, it's about how you use it and how you phase it out, intermittent and all that. I, I've used it and uh, you know, and I don't, most of the time I don't. I got a re retrieving bumper in my back pocket, so when I see he's a little bit calmer, and that's gonna be uh, part of his, his reward as well, as let him go back out and track. So he gives me a sit to the side, connects with me. His reward, he likes to track. He likes to smell, he likes to track. That's his drive, that's his highest drive. So I'm allowing that to be fulfilled, but I'm putting some control on it as well. So let's see how we do. Let's go. Oh, boy. 
boy. Go. You're blocking the lens. Come here, buddy. Oh boy. The difference in working them and, and the two drives are switching the drive. So uh, obviously much more um, mentally challenging for him. He's much more relaxed. Uh, we've drained a lot of that energy. Because again, he's an extremely high prey driven dog, as you can see. So uh, that's just my, my goal with a dog is to, to keep him in pack drive and we can determine when we want to send him in the prey drive. Retrieving, uh, finding the ball, um, controlled activities where you're capping the drive as well. So we just have some, uh, some time still with him so we're going to get them all dialed in. But other than that, there you have it. He's killing the rye. Let's go buddy. Let's go.